Hi, Chris here again. We're back to uh, seat upholstery. Tried to squeeze it into 10 minutes, just couldn't do it. Anyways, this is chapter 3B. Um, as you can see, our seat, where we left off, our seat is nicely centered. We've got a flower there, a flower there, a flower there, and a flower there, and a flower there. Everything looks like where it belongs. And we also got a nice flower in the center, or at least half of one. Um, at this point, you want to look at your job before you make any more cuts to see if there's any adjustments that you have to make. And uh, being the professional I am, I'm going to go ahead and continue because I got the check before the video started. Anyhow, this process here about cutting around the arms, lay your fabric flat out like that. That's for this chair, okay? This chair is kind of unique because the arm comes straight down here and then it comes you have to make your cut around this back portion right about here where my finger is. So in order to make that cut, you're going to come straight up in here. But you're not going to come all the way back. You want to stop right about here so that you don't come back and you, you, you overcut and you have a gap from your cut. You're better off to undercut than to overcut. Overcut costs you money in fabric. Undercutting might cost you a little stress. Anyhow, here we go. I'm going to leave enough here that I can fold it around and make my front pleat. And I'm going to cut back right about there on the leg. And you can see that where that cut is right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this ex excess off a little bit on an angle because I need more when we come through. And then I'm going to pull it through here and pull it down. Now you can see it's pulling there and it's pulling here. So I'm obviously, I haven't cut enough off the arm. But that's okay, because I, you know, now I can get the exact cut I need by getting right in there and cutting a little bit more. Now you can see that that's there. Now I'm gonna finish my front of the arm. And if you see all these, you're gonna take your fabric, you're gonna roll it over and make your pleat. I'm going to try to do this in a different angle so that you can watch. So bear with me. I might struggle a little bit. You want to pull that down there. You got your pleat, you got your fabric, you got your line. You're pulling down this way and this way. And everything is nice and clean up in here. And that's done. Now you're going to move to your side. This side you want a temporary tack. just to hold it in place because you're going to go to the other side and you're going to make the same cuts we just made. I'm not going to uh, focus on this because we learned a second ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this cut. same pleat on this front as you did on the front on the other on the uh, other side of the chair. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. Now we're going to do the side. You remember we temporarily tack the other side and I'm going to temporarily tack this side. And I'm going to check again to make sure that we're centered. And we are. Now you're going to take and make your side pleats. You're going to make sure you have enough fabric, trim off any excess, and I'm going to try to move over here so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to make that pleat, you're going to come down and tack it just like you did the front. You're going to take your hand and roll. I'm out of staples. Give me one second. Take your hand and roll this edge over and tack it. Now you got your temporary tack is in there and you need to remove it.
So now you're going to pull down this way and to the back, and you'll see all the fabric following its line. And then roll it over. And you got a nice clean line. You're going to cut around your leg and cut out the excess. Now, this fabric is going to roll over here. So you got to make your cuts up in here to come around this leg. There. Sorry, it's a little awkward doing it for the camera. And you pull this down here. Pull this down here because you got the little groove you're going to put your weld into. And finish it at the back. And that's what you're supposed to look like. I'm going to finish off this side. Tuck your fabric in. Get your pleat where you want it. Take a temporary tack and pull your fabric, like I said, to the back. Put it around your leg. Almost lost it there. Hold on one second. And finish that off. Trim it with your razor blade. And you see, when you put your back on it, this is going to roll down over top here. But that's the end of uh, 3B. Everything is nicely centered. The seat looks good. Next is Chapter 4, putting the inside back. Thanks.